Now turning to a live look inside the Capitol Rotunda. That is where President George H.W. Bush is lying in state. Already thousands of people have made their way through to pay respects from school kids to dignitaries. So many are eager to honor the 41st president. President Trump and the First Lady plan to meet privately with the Bush family today. The guest list for tomorrow's state funeral at the National Cathedral includes all living presidents, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and Prince Charles. Bush will then travel back to Texas to be buried at his presidential library. And several FA-18 squadrons from Naval Air Station Oceana will be part of the president's funeral in Texas. 13 News Now reporter Megan Shin was there. Some of them left this morning. And Megan, some of the pilots feel a real connection to Bush. Absolutely, and part of the reason is because Bush himself was a Navy pilot. Now, Bush flew in 58 combat missions, including during World War II. He was shot down, he returned to duty, and he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Now, he received another honor, and it's one of the highest a Navy aviator can get. Pilots from Naval Air Station Oceana are getting ready to fly to Texas, where they'll fly over College Station, the final resting place of President George H.W. Bush. It'll be emotional for everybody, you know, certainly for the family, but for America as well. Captain Kevin McLaughlin is the Commodore Fighter Wing Atlantic. He'll fly lead jet for a 21 aircraft missing man flyover. It's similar to a 21 gun salute, but with air power. In my entire career, I've never seen that done. McLaughlin's plane is a subtle tribute of its own on the side. The sailors put President Bush, his name on the front, and then the first lady's name on the back. Nobody will see it from the ground, but we'll know that it's there. The tribute to the fellow Navy pilot is personal for McLaughlin and others, including Commander Patrice Fernandez. For us two to have served under 41, uh, this is a great honor. It's a symbolic, uh, a symbolic final farewell to a great man who left a tremendous legacy of, of selfless service to his nation and his family. It was very cool to see, and the flyover is scheduled for Thursday evening. That's when President Bush will be buried at his presidential library and museum. He'll join his wife, Barbara, and their daughter, Robin. Megan Shen, 13 News Now.